Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, video where I will explain how you can uh, create a report showing you the pages on which the search happened on uh, Matomo Analytics. Um, so in fact, uh, here's the thing, um, when uh, you look on the, on the site search uh, page, you get uh, over here the different keyword, but you don't have the page on which happened, you just have the page following the search, but you don't know on which page uh, this given behavior happen. Uh, for this, you need to uh, click over here and this is, oh, this one's a bit tricky. But uh, if you look at uh, doo -doo -doo, maybe this one, yeah, exactly. So like this one, as you can see, um, the search training over here does not belong to this given page. If that was the case, uh, this, um, and this search icon will be on the right over here, which means that the action belong to this given page. Uh, you have this behavior, for example, when you are uh, using an event, for example, an event belong to a page. So uh, how can we uh, overcome this? So the idea is, of course, uh, to create a custom report. But if you create a custom report such as uh, this one, it will not show anything because the reason is that's a doo -doo -doo, keyword search pair. Well, that's that's the one. Uh, this is um, it's showing you exactly what I just explained, which means that this given sort, site search does not belong to this page uh, URL, and you don't have, as far as I know, uh, something which is called previous page or something like this within uh, within Matomo. So how can you do that? Uh, you can fix that out with a custom dimension. I'm going to show you um, a byte of code, which is uh, not uh, great, but that's better than anything uh, in order to overcome uh, this issue. And in fact, it will fix this issue for any kind of actions. So to say, um, what we have a look at here is a site search. And site search, I mean a search action, um, belongs to a page or not, in our case it doesn't belong to uh, the page, which is uh, which is problematic. And of course the technique I'm going to show you works with uh, other kind of action which are not linked to a page. And for this uh, we have to use what we call custom uh, dimensions. So custom dimensions are um, actions that you can either uh, put at the action level or either at the basic level. In our case, we want to create one custom dimension that we name URL on which we would like to append uh, the, given, uh, the given search. So what I did to introduce um, what I wanted is that I created a blank page on which I just take the legacy uh, Matomo tracking code. Of course, you can do it with, uh, um, with um, with Matomo Tag Manager. And in fact, what I did is that I stripped out the track page view uh, tracker, which is here in order to measure one action, which is the page view. And I added, in fact, the set custom dimension over here. Here, I just put one, which is static, but uh, could be, let's say, imagine that this is the, the contact page, for example. So I write contact and here the term, let's say, I'm gonna call it like tutorial like this. I will be able to identify that this is the tutorial. So this byte of code here is in order to send uh, one search. Uh, a search is defined, as you know, by a search term, a category and uh, results. And in fact, here we are sending along with the site search uh, custom dimension, which is the URL. So if I save this given page and if I go on uh, this given page, which is here for testing and I refresh it, I will see within my Matomo over here uh, under the visitors uh, and we see you see tutorial so it's uh, not tracking the page because i don't ask him to do it but i could have uh, done it and then if i look at uh, the tutorial search term as you can see it is linked with a custom dimension which is url equal contact and as a result i can then take this custom dimension in order to create one custom report so i created over here one custom report i'm going to show you how it looks like it's uh, this one url of internal search and if i look uh, through this given uh, custom report table report with a url which is in fact the custom dimension that i created which is defined at the action level and then the keyword site search and then the total number of internal searches so all i did for creating the Custom dimension is just going over here, and then I went, uh, doo -doo -doo, I went over here in custom dimension, and then I just created one at, at the action level. So nothing, uh, nothing 
too difficult here. And then if I look at my custom report for uh, the URL of internal search, this is how it's going to look like. So I get the total uh, number of internal searches. And if I click on this one, I'm getting, in fact, the different uh, keywords that I typed. And that's everything that I wanted to to show you. Not as well that you can think split it in a two dimension uh, table, I think. Uh, should make it flat and once it's flat i think yep exactly so here you get in fact your um, url over here and here you get the different search terms um i can probably test it with uh, another keyword just to show you uh, how it looks like so if we say it was tutorial we're just gonna say like blah blah and just uh, gonna save that out and then if I'm good. This part probably I get uh, over here. I'm gonna get it. Uh, uh, so just the URL contact, and then I should get my two uh, tutorials. So I'm happy. And that's it uh, for today. I hope you enjoyed this video.